Gavin, I'm, I'm cracking on because I want some silver linings before home time. And first up is Jeff in Henley. Remember, Jeff, it has to be sort of measurable and demonstrable, not not notional and emotional. No. Um, first of all, I can't offer a crystal ball that says what's going to happen in the future, and I don't think any of us can. But well, hang me, on. All of the Leave the campaigners thing, did, didn't they? Well... You wanted me to actually offer a silver lining. Yes, um, remember, me 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 measurable and factual. Measurable. Yes. And I actually value true democracy. And I think what the silver lining is that yes. we're actually returning to a true democratic situation. Right. Because in Europe, it's actually administered by commissioners that are unelected that actually put their proposals yes. to the parliament. And if they like them, they accept them. But even if they vote them down, the commissioners still go ahead. Yes. And I think what happened in the Lisbon Treaty in 1975 clearly illustrates that. So what we will come out yes, but with... It, but except it doesn't. And own, it's, it's not a silver lining for, for everybody, Jeff. Because, you know, I could sit here now and say to you, remind me who elected Dominic Cummings, uh, the, the most powerful man in the British government at the moment. We don't know that. If you value well, Of course we do know that. How, who elected him? No, we don't him? know that because what we're actually likely who, who to see elected him, is his advice. His advice who elected him? rejected over H, HS2, for instance. Who elected so him? And the Parliament an can reject the advice of the Commission, so your own point just no, fell apart. You, every, no, it doesn't fall apart. But remember, you the silver lining have, has to be something that benefits we, everybody. We, we, Everybody. We have a president of Europe. No. Was she elected? No, she wasn't. No. She was actually a failed... German politician. Nobody has elected So her. the silver they linings, elect... Jeff, not the things you're angry about, the things that you're looking no. forward to that everybody else will recognise. What's going to be the improvement yeah, to democracy. my life? The measurable improvement to my life? I think that in future, when you cast your vote, in whichever way it is, and yes. it might be Labour, you might be Conservative, or Liberal, Demo Democrat, yes. it will actually be promoting true democracy for our country. Yes, I, OK, now, le leaving, aside, leaving, leaving aside the emotional import of the words that you employ, could, could you give me an example of something that would prove your point? So something that perhaps has happened to me or to, to, to this country that was a direct result of the absence of democracy that you describe? Uh, the uh, illustration is that we actually entered the European market. That's how it started when Ted Heath took us in. Yes. It actually changed. You're pretending not to understand my. You're pretending not to understand my question. The thing that no, happened as a result of the absence of democracy that you describe. So you just point to it, and I'll go. Crikey, he's got a point. I'm sorry, I'm not understanding the question. OK, so I there is an answer. absence of democracy which prompted your desire to leave the European Union. Yes. What is the best example of the damage done to the United Kingdom by that absence of democracy, Jeff? I think the, the damage is the amount of money that it's actually cost us that could have been well spent on other things that when we democratically vote... For right, it, and Jeff, there's the not a single spent. economic analysis in the world that thinks that we have made net losses from our European Union membership. Membership of the single market has been the biggest provider, as Margaret Thatcher predicted it would be, of prosperity and commercial success to this country in, well, actually, not to be hyperbolical, in history. So I'm just going to ask you again. I, I think, the, I think no, Jeff, I just I need to give you another chance. World. Jeff, I the, think we would have no. done that anyway. We've already I gone down think, to seventh, I think. I, I don't think so. No, but anyway, the absence of democracy is responsible... There are 196 yeah. countries in the world, I think, to be seventh. That doesn't, that doesn't sound too bad to me either. But 30 seconds ago, you didn't think we'd gone down. I, I beg your pardon? Yes, I bet you do. Last chance, point at the thing that has been caused by the absence of democracy, because the contributions to the European Union, Jeff, were voted for by our Parliament. So that doesn't count, does it? The absence of democracy caused this bad thing right here, described by Jeff, now. We didn't actually, when uh, Cameron went back and actually had a list of six things that he wanted yes. from the European Union... They actually rejected all of them, and he came back. Yes, but Captain that would Han. that that that's, we, demo that's democracy, that, Jeff. If it's one person, of course it is. If it was, a, all right, Jeff. Last chance, mate. Name those six a things. In Europe. Name I think them. I've illustrated it well. <laughs> I think you're just not being. Respected Jeff, please don't argument. hang up. Jeff, please don't just, hang up. Please, Jeff, give me one example. I've given you. I've illustrated it. You haven't, mate. You need to point at something and say that's what happens when we don't have democracy. What are you pointing at? What do we have when we don't have democracy? 
Point yeah, at the so thing look, caused by the absence of democracy that our European Union membership entailed. It's your point, not mine. Don't get cross about me about how confused I'm, it is. I'm, I'm not getting cross. I'm just... So uh, what is it? This Look, that. we've got no democracy and we're getting it back. And the best proof that we didn't have proper democracy is... Sorry. So am I. Nigel's in Medway. Nigel, what would you like to say?